Hi y'all! How are you doing today? If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you found this video and hopefully this will resonate with you and you'll want to join our holistic healing community. So we hope that you join us. Those of you that are returning, welcome back. It's so nice to see you again. I really do enjoy having our time together and I really appreciate all the comments that you guys have been making and the interactions that we've had, both you and I, as well as you guys interacting with each other as well. That's what's going to make this community really, really special. We want it to be welcoming and open to everyone and we want people to be able to adapt any of their belief system, well, adapt the practices and things that we're doing so that it fits their belief systems and so that they feel good about it. So we're here to support each other with the belief systems that we have and find ways to adapt the exercises so that it would be helpful for each one of us. So some people will write comments down below how they adapted the ceremony to mean more to them and that kind of thing. So it's just been amazing and I appreciate you guys so much. We're uh, growing and growing every single day and um, I have lots of fun. So I hope you have fun with me. Today is a new box. I only got it this one month. I've seen others open it. It's really new uh, or it's really cool and I may end up getting the box later on but right now you know I cut back a bunch of my boxes so that I'm only getting about 8 to 10 boxes a month instead of like 17 so that I can spend a little bit more time. I want to make sure that I get out a, a crystal grid each month for you and um, with those new herbal boxes I'm going to be doing some different herbal exercises, tinctures, uh, those kinds of things so that we can learn about herbs together and how magical herbs can help us to be whole. So the subscription box is a monthly subscription box that runs $32 a month if you um, uh, purchase it month by month. If you get it again like six months or a year you do get a price break on it. And it says, um, have magic delivered directly to your door with the Inked Goddess Creations box. Your Inked Goddess Creations box will come packed with supplies that resonate with the energy and theme for that month. The box will contain a beautifully scented handmade candle, a DIY, a kit activity meditation focus affirmation or altar setup for you to do, um, an exclusive eclectic witch card expansion pack, uh, additional products to fit the theme of the month. Items will be mixture of full size and sample size and could include mist oils, altar items, herbs, gemstones, divination, booklets, art cards, and more. It goes on. The list goes on quite a bit. And then information cards to help you add detail to the contents of your each box each month so you know exactly why the items were selected for you. Um, says the boxes will not only contain many exclusive inked goddess creation products which will not be available for purchase in the store until after that month's box has been shipped but also exclusive box items that will not be for sale after the subscription box is sold out. So I don't have a review of last month's box because it's my first time getting inked goddess super excited for it. So let's see. Do you want to know what's in my box? I watch another channel that says that. I think it's so cute. Stay tuned to see what's in my box. <laughs> She's really cute. Okay. Oops. Can I get it open? Okay. Okay. There we go. So you get it open. Dun, 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 dun. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it in the camera. So it looks like tissue paper there. Pop off this tissue paper and there we go. You've got some cards on the top and then the rest of our goodies down there in the box. So let's get right to it and see what we have. So the first thing, oh, oh, that's pretty. Mother Maiden and Crone or Maiden Mother and Crone. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So you got Maiden, Mother, and Crone. Or sorry, Maiden, Mother, and Crone. 
Yes, I'm the crone with the long flowy and the hair is silver. You really can't see see how there you go. It's got silver on um different parts of the body, the hair on them. Really pretty. And again, really nice. You could use it and hang it up or put it on your altar. You could also use it as a postcard and send someone a little bit of love. Then we have, it says, Inked Goddess Box Triple Moon. The triple moon is a highly revered symbol. Okay, so maybe this is all around the triple moon. It talks about it's a highly revered symbol in the witchy community and also discreet for those still in the broom closet, representing the waxing full and waning moon phases, which corresponds to the divine feminine aspects of the maiden, mother, and crone. This symbol has so much powerful energy for many of us. This box pays respect to the triple moon symbol and its meaning. Um, it says our shipping boxes and tissue paper are made from 100% recycled, which is always nice. And then on the back it has the items, which I'm not going to read until we get to them. But so that's really cool. See, not only does it have Mother Made in Chrome, but it has the triple moon as well. So, and you see a lot of that. Hopefully maybe we'll get a piece of jewelry with the triple moon on it. Triple moon's beautiful. And so I happen to see a spy, a little something with a triple moon on it. <laughs> so let's see. That looks like green adventuring. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. It's got a Celtic star in it, Celtic pentagram. See if I can get, there's the chain. So it's a nice pretty chain, but I'm gonna try and hold that in my hand so I can show you guys. Look at that. Really pretty. Oops, focusing on me. Focus on this. Focus on the pretty jewelry. Not pretty. And the back is like that. That is really pretty. Not a very long chain, which sometimes I really like because a lot of them hang in the same place. So this one probably will hang about right there on me. So fairly um, small chain, but definitely, well, let's see. Let's just see. Oh, good. Look. It actually hits in a good place. None of my other jewelry's there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'll probably eat through this silver in two seconds. You know me and and uh, um, my problems with eating through, unless it's sterling silver. So we'll see. So pretty. Let's see what it says about it. The Triple Moon Pentacle Gemstone Point Necklace. See which gemstone chose you this month. Along with adding a witchy flair to your wardrobe as a necklace, this can also be used as a pendulum or a protective car charm if jewelry isn't your thing. And again, it appears as though Green Adventuring chose me. And, you know, that's a pretty good theme for me right now. Heart, trying to do all those good things that we've been talking about. So next we'll do the little candle and it doesn't look like much, you know, it looks like it's just a little votive candle that they, you know, got at the dollar store, but it's not. It's actually a handmade candle. Mm. Oh, what's that smell? Something florally. Oh, that is so good. It's got plastic on it. I'm just smelling the very top. Ah, oh, smells so good. Let's see, what is it? Triple Goddess Votive Candle. A blend, oh, there it is. It's one of my favorite perfumes. I'm like, that smells so familiar. Opium. Opium is one of my favorite perfumes that I wear. And so it says, a blend of opium, eucalyptus, bergamot, and jasmine to connect with divine feminine energy in any aspect. That's a really nice candle. Three of those oils are fairly expensive. So, like jasmine and stuff. Now, jasmine as absolute, if you get a little teeny dram, I mean, it can be really expensive just for a little teeny dram. Most of us get um, 
you know, jasmine that's not absolute and it works, you know, pretty good as our essential oils. Uh, but you have to be careful with jasmine because it is so expensive. Sometimes you can end up getting it like I just got a spray and I was so excited to get them from Amazon. They had, you know, crystal essences and, you know, um, moon water that it was made in and it sounded so awesome. And then when I got it and sprayed it, it just smelled really perfumey. And when I looked in their ingredients, it said it had fragrance and essential oils. I'm like, why would you ruin a beautiful spray if you've taken all that time to do crystal essences? You've taken all that time to put all that in there. And then you put fragrance in there. And so they do. They smell like a cheap perfume of Palo Santo or a cheap perfume of Naga Champa rather than the essential oils and the beautiful spray that it could be. So I was really disappointed. But anyway, back to our box. Maybe I should cut that out. I never know with you guys, you know, do you want my little antidotes and stories and sidelines? Or do you want me just to get down to the box? And I guess that would depend on whether or not you're one of my subscribers and are here to hang out with me or if you're just a person looking for the box opening. So if you're the person looking for the box opening, you probably already clicked off this video already. But if you haven't, I put timestamps in all of my videos. So go down to the description and you'll be able to find exactly what you want and you can bypass all my little stories as I get to know my subscribers and as they comment and get to know me. So anyway, I've been jabbery today, haven't I? Uh, so this week's videos, yeah, been a little jabbery, but you know, I've been missing you all. I took a week off and, oh, it's my stomach. <laughs> I took a week off and I think I really missed you guys. So then we have another little bag here. Oops, upside down, karma. So this says Triple Moon Blessings Herbal Blend, a blend of jasmine, willow, sandalwood, eucalyptus, hyssop, rose, and lemon peel to use as an herbal offering, to burn as incense, or to use as a pre-moon ritual bath. A blessing that you can say out aloud is found on the back of this card. It says, uh, Giant Maiden, infuse me with your energetic youth and your zest for life. Great Mother, share with me your ability to birth ideas, nurture, and love unconditionally. Great Crone, bless me with your wisdom, intuition, and guidance. I welcome the flow of divine feminine energy into me, and may it empower me to connect with my magical source from here forward. As above, so below, so mote it be. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? I can't get over it. It's so pretty. And the camera's really not doing it justice. Oh, and it's heavenly. Oh, that is so beautiful. Mmm, hard to know. Bath. I don't want to burn it as incense. I could use it as an offering on a grid or something like that, or in a bath. But I like having good baths, so if I use it in a bath, I'd probably use the whole thing. What do you think? Should I use it in my bath? What would you do? Would you use it as a, like on our crystal grids like we do? Or would you burn it as incense? If you're going to burn it as incense, um, I would probably crunch up the flowers a little bit more. But sometimes a few of the beautiful flowers on the top of the charcoal look so pretty too. Okay, what does it say? Triple Moon Blessings Herbal Blend, a blend of moon herbs that can be burned as incense, used as offerings to your deities, or even used in a pre-ritual bath. An exclusive blessing is found on the back of the card that you can say during your personal moon ritual to invoke the triple moon energy. Very nice. See, this is a great little box. I'm really enjoying it. Then we have, this must be like an altar cloth. See if it has the triple moon on it because I like the triple moon and that's something that I really enjoy using. Um, some of the class, you know, the cloths and stuff don't fit me as well, but that one does. Look, that would make a pretty crystal grid. It's like a pretty kind of a silky fabric too. And it is printed. 
But look, the earth, oh, that looks so cool. The moon, not the earth, it's the moon. That is so pretty. All the little detail in there. Love it. And it's pretty silky. Um, it almost feels like, you know, the cloths that you get to clean your eyeglasses and stuff or your glass, your computer screen. It's got kind of a shiny back to it. But that is really pretty. I mean, even just to set that down on a table and put a be the beautiful candle on it and burn it. That's gorgeous. Um, triple moon altar cloth. This beautiful altar cloth can be used as an accent for your altar wall or surface and was designed by Morgan, owner of Ink Goddess Creations. Beautiful, Morgan. Beautiful. And then we have, oh, that's pretty. So it's kind of off-center. I don't know if it was meant to be, but I like it off-center. Look at that. The triple moon, and it's got... Oh, so pretty. And then inside, it looks like it is a lined journal. And it does have the little ribbon bookmark in it. So I always love getting stuff like this, especially because, you know, I'm always trying to do a new, um, you know, book for different things. And so to have these sitting there, I can never have enough little notebooks. My husband teases me because I have, you know, a little notebook for this and a little notebook for that. Then we have... Three cards from the ecl Eclectic Witch deck, which is the Inked Goddess deck, and the backs of them are really pretty. And they're really um, a nice, like, texture. Like, they feel almost like silicone-y. That's really cool. I wonder if they sell the whole deck. I know, I think they keep adding cards to it so that you can just keep getting them. So if I were to keep getting the box, you would keep these and they would keep adding cards to it each month. So let's start out with Maiden. So it's a Maiden card. Really pretty. Says the maiden is the first aspect of the triple goddess. She is the young woman full of sexuality and eager to explore her surroundings. She represents new beginnings, enthusiasm, and self discovery. The spring into the summer months are the maiden's time. She urges us to live life to the fullest and experience all that life and love has to offer. Some maiden goddesses include Artemis, Flora, Diana, Hebe. I don't know, Hebe, and Persephone. Call upon the energy of the maiden when you are starting something new, need a burst of youthful energy, or want to explore your sexuality more. Beautiful. And then the mother. Oh, oh, that is so cute. Look at her little belly. She's got a little mandala on her belly. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh, so cute. I've seen some, uh, you know, pregnancy pictures, but that would be a really cool one. I've never seen one with a mandala like that. It says the mother is the second aspect of the triple goddess. She represents fertility, patience, and a sense of fullness. The mother is nurturing and grounding. She defends her children, whether they're her literal children or ideas and plans birthed from her mind. The summer is the mother's time of year. Some mother goddesses include... I don't know a lot of these. Brigid, uh, Demeter, Devi, Freya, Gaia, Hera, Isis, and Pavardi. Call upon the energy of the mother when you need to love yourself and accept love from other people. Her energy is also perfect for anything that requires patience and power or when you need to birth something new into the world. And then the Chrome card. And the crone on the bottom there. 
The crone is the last aspect of the triple goddess. She is the dark mother, often depicted as a grandmother figure or wise woman. She represents the end of a cycle and is full of wisdom from her many years of life. The autumn into winter months are the crone's time. Some crone goddesses include Baba Yaga, uh, Caridwen, um, Kali, uh, the Morrigan, and Kali, Kali, C A I L L E A C H. Kaleech? I've never heard of her. Um, call upon the crone's energy when you need to begin an intentional journey through your shadows, gaining knowledge of who you really are deep down. Her energy is also perfect for seeking answers through divination or for when you need guidance on your path. Awesome. And then the last card they sent us is the triple moon. And the Triple Moon card says, The Triple Moon symbol is highly recognized in the metaphysical community, representing from left to right the waxing, full, and waning moon phases. It also corresponds to the different phases of the Triple Goddess. The waxing moon symbolizes the maiden aspects of the goddess, the full moon symbolizes the mother aspect, and the waning moon symbolizes the crone aspect. Each phase can be used to connect to that aspect of life, to that aspect of the goddess for magical working, for many, the triple moon also symbolizes nature's tree life phases, birth, life, and death. Then it says the element of air. Thank you for your Ain't Goddess Creations box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme. So next month's theme is air. But I won't be getting that box. And it looks like last, but not least, that's really pretty. So it's metal, and it has the triple moon on it. And it has like foam on the back, so you could use it like as a coaster, you could use it as a candle plate, you could use it for incense, that kind of thing. Um, any type of thing that you want to do. So I can see lots of different uses that you could use with that. But let's see what they said about it. Triple moon engraved steel altar tile. Altar tiles can be used as offering plates, candle plates, and more. These elegant stainless steel altar tiles have an exclusive design laser engraved on them to add triple moon energy into your sacred space. So for $32, let's go back and see what we got. We got the triple moon altar cloth. We got the triple moon engraved steel altar tile, the triple moon journal, the triple goddess altar art card, the triple moon blessings herbal blend, that was so pretty, the triple goddess votive candle, the triple moon pentacle gemstone point necklace, and the triple moon eclectic witch deck expansion pack, the ones with moon, uh, the triple moon and then mother maiden and crone to add to your deck. I'd say that's a pretty good box. Um, for the $32, I'd say you definitely got your money's worth, but this was a really nice box for the price. And I do really like the way it's themed and that they have, um, you know, not necessarily a set, uh, practice for you to do, but different pieces that you can use to infiltrate into your practice for the month and um, add some magical items around you to make you feel happy and magical. I hope that you have a magical day and that part of that magic is liking this video and subscribing if you haven't so that you can come back often to the channel where you can say Karma's my friend, because I am. Bye, y'all.